So. Rogue and I have talked a lot about this matchup, or just he has talked about it in general. And uh, he used to think that Mario completely destroys Falcon, thinking it was a 70-30. But uh, as of late, due to Kashmir and friendlies with him at CEO, he thinks the uh, matchup is much more doable if Falcon plays more defense. Well, not defensively, but more patient, I think. Yes. So. I mean, I think... Yeah, he did say that earlier, the 70-30 match, and I disagreed. I said it was like 60-40, but we'll see right now because Kashmir is definitely a top-level Falcon player, probably like like top 10. I would agree. I would say top 5, personally. Top 5, yeah, he top would. 5 in the U.S., yeah. so uh, we'll see what he can do here as he kind of just like moves in and out, looking for this opening, like you said, being very patiently, not just running in looking for those grabs and dash packs, but just Mario things, you know? Yeah, basic bread and butter. And that's basically about why Rogue is such a good player, why he's advanced so well, is that he just works on the fundamentals and he gets those like nice, easy combos going and just like bread and butter. And then that's how you get those damage up. And because Mario, the percent kind of comes to him, I think Rogue has really pushed himself in trying to find that kill, which Mario can struggle with sometimes. But he's found some confirms, he's found, uh, found some great setups. So uh, no doubt we'll see those come out. And a favorite oh. of his is roll behind back throw. Yep, so, uh, works out there, and 62% uh, not too high, but nothing a knee can't take out. <laughs> oh, but uh, Kashmir opting for a lot of up airs, and uh, he's got really good follow-ups, like the up air to nair, like mid percents. Catches the roll, like the back air, and uh, that's uh, something that I see more patient Falcons do, because it's a really good uh, walling out tool, I feel. Alright. <laughs> Here it comes. Even with the rage, the combos still work. Oh, but he Great DI out and gets the soft hit of back air as well. Unfortunately, strong hit would have uh, taken it. I believe that uh, up smash was most likely a miss input. He definitely would have been looking for more follow ups with uh, in the air. Ooh, got him with that Raptor boost though, so I'll finish it off. Yeah, I'll see a little dance shot here. 41%, nothing can't come back from uh, Absolutely not. Uh, see, I, I think like good extra credit is like 60, 70. Yeah. That's when it's like it starts really mattering, but like 40, nah, not too much. All right, good movement in and out here with these dance shots. And Kashmir definitely doesn't want to get grabbed. Rogue is trying to find a way in, seeing if he can't get more combos going off. Ooh, the foot's still coming Ooh. out. Doesn't lock because he's too high of a percent. But, but uh, it still landed the damage, and it, op it uh, also gave him an opportunity for a follow-up. But and he's taking that out. to the bank because uh, he just pulled ahead. Yeah, so great stuff there. All right, Andy Di is out of that combo. Maybe a little, uh, little drop from Rogue. All right, we see the Rogue classic Ooh. where he fares on the stage, but not working out. All right, all right. Cashmere is doing really well at keeping Rogue in the shield and walling him out with these back airs and takes the game. Yeah, he was in that last like few seconds. He put a lot of pressure on Rogue's shield, just moving in and out with these falling up airs, these short hop bears, making sure that he hits him with just the just the right distance that he couldn't punish him. So Rogue just couldn't find a, a way to punish it accordingly. So. Nah, that's why he's a top Ooh, level. We see uh, the me gunner coming out from Rogue. Rogue what? has been he putting has a, work. He has a, he has a pocket me gunner. He has been putting work with it. He's Insane. trying to find. He's trying to what get are, matchup are, knowledge and all of that. But uh, what are the rules? Is it? It's one one one. one, one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll see gotcha. how this goes. He's really good at. Uh, I've played it personally. Spacing the fares. Uh, as you might not, or you might not know how me gunner works. I personally don't, and I think that's definitely the X factor here. Yeah, I definitely do not know too much about Me Gunner as uh, this is actually maybe like the first match I've ever commentated a Me Gunner. But I saw that the, he has that, uh, I think, side B, which is the, like um, Arc Fire from yeah, Robin. Yeah, very similar. Yeah, that is his Nair. Mar Arc Fire and PK Fire. Yeah. Um, what's interesting here is the switch from Rogue. Uh, considering that Kashmir was the one that prompted Rogue to think that the Falcon Mario matchup was not as bad as he initially thought. Uh, it makes sense that he would respect him so much as to uh, try something else because Kashmir is obviously well versed in that matchup. And he's definitely not well versed in this one because he's getting hit by a lot of these forward airs right now. He's uh, trying to figure it out. He's trying to see all the tools that this uh, character has to offer, but uh, oh, wow. Roku knows some confirms it here and there, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Wisely not giving him any air dodges because that is uh, a pivotal thing to do in the Falcon matchup. 
Right. And the Mii Gunner, I believe the Mii, all the Mii sit at about 100 weight, which is right about Mario's weight. That makes sense. So it's, not, it's just at like that uh, middle, almost heavy weight. I'm not too sure uh, how Mii Gunner can kill. I know that his uh, forward smash and up air are similar in their nature. They all have a bunch of multi hits and then a strong last hit. And they're pretty good at killing, but I don't know if he's able to confirm into that. Maybe he has a kill throw? No, that's pretty weak. <laughs> Ooh, goes for a normal getup read. That was actually probably actually really good at covering normal getup. So. I mean, uh, his moveset's are pretty good, Ooh. but the back air not. Oh, actually going to take yeah. it. All right. Yeah, maybe some questionable DI there. All right, there's a forward smash. Forward smash, and that is it. Evening it up. Rogue gets some charge going, and uh, let's see who will take advantage in the neutral first. All right. Lots of shield pressure going on. Uh, I wonder if there's any, uh, maybe the neutral B might be able to top one. But he oh, power shields power it. Power shield. Bold yep. statement there. All right, any ops to try to go for that command grab instead mm -hmm. of going for ledge. Which does uh, does mix some people up sometimes. Oh, Ooh, no jump. You have to be careful. Yo, luckily for Rogue, he doesn't get hit by the, the spike hitbox yeah. on that. All right, this goes to the confirm there. Ooh, oh, he's got shine. Ooh, right. great usage of the fair that pushes you back with the movement, and uh, he's able to recover backwards on stage. Oh, two oh he has his jump. Cool. Hashtag always save the jump. Getting walled out by these back airs again. This is uh, what Kashmir is excellent at. Oh, the gentleman coming out. Oh, he might not be able to recover. Another one. This is looking grim. The reflector again into the fair to get movement. All right, I like that, that he keeps using that to oh, get that's it. But it. There it is. So Kashmir adapts to the matchup that he... <laughs> Mid-game. Very, yeah, very mid impressive. Game, just Usually uh, takes a game, but uh, that was a, a great uh, showing from Kashmir there. Huh. That's interesting that he would just uh, he would just switch to the me gunner like that. He, he's definitely been putting work in. Uh, I don't know if he has enough time with the character. 